Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of Earth um, for the weekend of February the uh, 5th through the 7th, 2021. So, uh, yes, if you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you. I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me um, or check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. Just make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call and request a call back um, by putting yourself in that call queue. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. And also be sure to check out Patreon. Um, the Venus sign readings are there now. So. Um, we have here Central Issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Six of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Blades. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Blades, the Knight of Coins, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so I feel like some of you are feeling um, or in a situation where you are having to make some sort of a difficult decision. I feel like you have been trying to um, find find out if there is an easier way to do something. Um, you're like, Maybe I can try it this way. Maybe if I did that. So it's kind of like you're, uh, you've are you been trying to avoid something or look for a shortcut. But nothing's been working. I feel like you've still been kind of stuck in regards to making some sort of decision. And it looks like eventually you do get the courage to do what you need to do. Um, I feel like... You're getting encouragement from people or there's some sort of mutual support that you do have. Yeah, and it looks like you finally make a decision to move forward with something. Mm, you may decide to walk away from everything or this may indicate that now that you've made some sort of decision, you can let the rest go. Um, but either way, it looks like you're walking away and I feel like you don't really want to walk away, but at this time, maybe it's just the best thing to do. Maybe you're unable to find any other solutions to whatever it is that you could be going through. Um, I feel like something has been difficult or something just gets harder and harder. Um, and I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's re responsibilities. Maybe it's getting harder and harder to avoid certain people. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, it just looks like it's, it's getting too difficult. There's several people coming out in your reading. So, um, yeah, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be an earth sign, could be an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And yeah, at the end of the day, it's like you're leaving something be behind or you feel like you're lonely or you can't find exactly what you're looking for. You still seem, you seem lost at the end of the day. You start off feeling confident and then something happens. I don't know what happens. Maybe you saw something you didn't mean to see. Maybe you uh, went searching for trouble. Something also could be a form of self-sabotage. Whatever happened. I feel like maybe something just goes off course. And you decide that you're just going to walk away or give up. Something also could be going on where maybe... You are secretly wanting someone to chase you or pursue you or ask you to stop, don't go, uh, don't quit, 
don't don't you know like that could be something that you're really hoping happens just make sure that you if you're walking away from something that you care about that you're really doing it because you truly feel like it's best and not because you think you're going to be pursued or chased because something could backfire um so yeah be careful about the choices that you're making um also in a love situation it could just be that someone coming towards you is going through some sort of depression maybe this person has just broken up so even though they're getting caught up in your life some type of way they're still dealing with depression um i do feel like someone maybe struggles or has mood swings there's a lot of emotional ups and downs so someone has someone seems to be both mentally and emotionally unstable there are periods where things are okay and running smooth and then something happens and it's like oh i'm depressed again or and it's like you were just happy you were just motivated and excited and now you're giving up again um keep in mind this can be the energy of again someone around you or coming towards you struggling uh there's an imbalance here um, i also feel like maybe someone is coming off very guarded distant um manipulative and it looks like you are not wanting to listen to anyone who is trying to manipulate you or instruct you i feel like you're wanting to make some sort of decision on your own mm. hmm. it also looks like someone is thinking about coming towards you they're just watching you but maybe their behavior is too passive Maybe someone's taking too long to approach you. And if that's the case, you might feel like, uh, you know what, I'm done. Like, they're taking too long. I don't want to wait anymore. So try to stay strong because I feel like you're giving up or losing faith. That also could be your self-sabotage. Your self-destructive pattern is giving up right before something is about to develop or before something's getting ready to happen i feel like you give up and it's just like hey like you just walked away and this person it's like you were sitting by the phone all day and someone said that they were going to call by five of five o'clock but it's 4 44 and you're why did i say 4 44 and you're like you're like they're not calling and you just like give up and, and leave out the house that's if you have a landline we're not talking about cell phones here <laughs> work with me y'all and you just like leave out in a minute you leave out the phone rings and it's just like damn i said five o'clock so i feel like something's going on where you keep that and that is i can see it now that's that's your um self-destructive behavior um let me look a little further into it. Yeah, the moon here does indicate that something's going on where you feel super emotional um something triggers you i feel like you even you also keep trying to run away or avoid your past that's another thing that you're doing um you are not wanting to confront your shadow or you're failing to realize see that failure how the cards just fail down like that you're failing to realize that you are needing to confront this issue you that someone is your 
shadow or a reflection of something that you are deeply suppressing and you're like I don't want to deal with these feelings so let me get out of here hmm I feel like your anxieties are really acting up it looks like you also deal with doom like feelings of doom feelings of abandonment sometimes maybe you feel like the grim reaper is around the corner i've talked to that about that before where every now and then i have a death anxiety like i'm not afraid of death but sometimes it just feels like it's around the corner and it's not that i'm scared but it's more so like Oh, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. You know, it's just, and it comes from out of nowhere, uh, which is super irritating. I fucking hate anxiety. But um, I kind of feel like maybe that could be something that you're dealing with. Now, <laughs> you know what's funny? And I've thought about this before, too. Um, what if... You know, let's just say, yeah, the Grim Reaper is a literal Grim Reaper. Somebody who goes around on people's due dates to check them out. And let's just say they're just checking on you, but not necessarily your time. But they're just there around you in your vicinity and you feel them. It's like you can feel the Grim Reaper near. It's just like the Grim Reaper is in the room with me right now. You know, it's just like I feel like you are being very sensitive towards death um, or you're being very sensitive towards spirits now also if you're an empath maybe you are feeling the energies of someone around you about to pass um, and not even necessarily someone you know but you know you're just picking up on that energy maybe the neighbor just passed out or croaked or something so you don't know um, when you're an empath whose feelings you're tapping into um, but this definitely could, or it could just be a spirit, someone who's already crossed over, but they're lingering and you can feel the energy of how they felt when they passed. So spiritually, those are some things that may also be causing your anxiety attacks or mood swings. It's like you're an empath and just very sensitive to spirits and living and dead. Um, hmm. Now, some of you are also maybe feeling left out from your family or you want to, you feel like an outcast some type of way or like you don't fit in or you don't belong. Um, you also might be having anxiety about children or having your own family. Yeah, I feel like maybe there's some sort of transit that happens um, within the next couple of days where your mood just completely changes or shifts. It will come to an end. I feel like that depression is temporary and it's all in your head. You also might have some sort of sad dream and you're like, you wake up like, why would I dream that? You might wake up crying about something. Romantically, it looks like you are, you know, just maybe sad because you can't stop thinking about somebody or you can't quite seem to cut someone loose. Like that energy still lingers. someone is also listening to music you might be listening to a lot of emotional music you might play an instrument to try to relax um, I feel like somebody also maybe plays the flute or used to or like a recorder any type of air instrument So 
somebody is also feeling obligated towards the water sign or a water sign feels obligated towards you. I feel like you're trying to avoid this person, especially if they're like the baby's uh, mom or baby's dad. Um, someone is emotionally draining. It's like every time you talk to this person for like five minutes and you feel emotionally drained. You're like, damn. Or every time I talk to this person, they take so much out of me. Um, I also feel like there is some sort of grudge in regards to somebody's birthday. Uh, I feel like somebody... Somebody didn't do something on your birthday or something happened on your birthday, you still might be having a grudge about it. I also feel like there's a lot of stress in the home. Mm. Something's become stressful in the home or the home itself or looking for a home. Uh, I feel like somebody is also moving or trying to find a new home or maybe someone is having to move into the home and it seems like very codependent. So it also looks like the Eight of Cups may be about some sort of sacrifice or having to give one thing up to have another. Hmm. Some of you, I do feel like you're having to make some sort of living arrangements that you don't want to do because you feel like a burden or someone feels like a burden to have to come live with you. Could be water or air. Somebody is a tease or a flirt. Yeah, I feel like an air sign gives you anxiety. You also may be torn or feeling conflicted in regards to where something is headed. Um, it looks like you're also overthinking something. It also could be the energy of this person, like they are overthinking some things. And I feel like you're walking away. Every time you try to walk away, you get you get lured back in. I feel like you walk right into another temptation situation. I do feel like there's a need for an apology or forgiveness. There is also a need to break from a habit of lying or a habit of deception. Hmm, I heard Christopher for somebody. So Seven of Blades also indicates that either you are spying on someone or someone has been spying on you. I feel like you are also having to sneak away 
I feel like you're sneaking away from a situation or quietly backing out of something. Mm. I'm also getting that there is some sort of indirect communication. Somebody's relocating. I'm just looking at this home again and this person is pointing to some place on the map. Um, I, I feel like somebody is making plans to run away or escape and not tell anybody. It's like I'm not going to tell anybody what I'm doing. Especially too if all these people keep having some sort of opinion in regards to what you want to do or like the minute you feel confident and you're like I've made up my mind. This is what I'm going to do. And then you share what you're going to do with somebody in confidence. And then that person just like shits all over your plans. And then you feel like, I don't know what to do. And then you immediately lose your confidence. So you might need to just do something quietly without telling people what your plans are, are because I feel like they're just going to discourage you. All right, so let's pull some energy cards for you guys. All right. What messages are there? Additional messages are there for my earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm, financial constraints. Man holding a coin. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Overall energy. You guys got the patience card this time. So, yeah, something's going on where maybe it feels like you're running out of time or something's too late. Your patience is running short. Um, and it seems like maybe nothing is happening. Your prayers aren't being answered. You aren't getting the help that you need. Uh, something's taking too long. But then here comes an opportunity. Now, to me again, this made me feel like something about somebody's living situation or their financial situation. I feel like maybe someone is needing to move in to save money or like somebody needs to move in with you um, or it's like taking on some sort of a burden because of some sort of maybe financial restraints here. But like I said, it looks like there's an opportunity, like there's something that you need and this person is like, oh, I have what you need. Just come here, come take it. Um, but whatever it is that is being offered to you, I feel like it requires you to be, uh, open. Like maybe your heart is closed or maybe there's some sort of emptiness. There's something going on too with your heart chakra where maybe it is closed off or, it's been lying dormant, but something activates it. It's either blocked or it's overactive. Maybe you feel too much. Um, maybe you have also overextended yourself and now you're like, now I need help. Like I gave away too much. I helped too much. Now I don't have enough for myself. Um, Maybe you gave too much love and you feel like I didn't get anything in return. So something's going on where you feel like you overexhausted yourself. Now, something also could be going on in regards to differences in love language. Maybe one person likes to spend money. The other person likes to nurture uh, or, you know, doing things to get to the person's heart. 
someone is also feeling ignored. You might be feeling like someone's ignoring you or you are patiently waiting. You're patiently waiting to hear from someone or for someone to pursue you or to help you. Just make sure that you're you're not assuming that someone can read your mind. Mm. I feel like someone's name is Jay too. That might be someone's nickname. I feel like someone is also torn between being a hopeless romantic and then someone who's grounded and practical. There may be a need for you to respond to what you're feeling. Somebody might be waiting for your response or you are waiting for a response. Something is also saying speak from the heart. Mm. Or maybe someone spoke to the from the heart to you. I feel like whatever you know that you can do to heal your heart chakra is something that you're needing to do. You might also be feeling like those heart palpitations so someone may indirectly be speaking to you or you are tapped into this person's energy and you can feel something they're going through you can feel like something going on with this person's emotional state and it's manifesting as some sort of heart flutters or um, palpitations for you and I'm, I've also experienced that when someone is trying to shut you out that's how it's like I feel it more so when someone is thinking about me but trying to shut me out and I don't know how it works for you it might work that way your heart palpitations might be bought on by something else but that's just an example to give to you um but yeah I feel like someone is signaling someone also may be waiting for confirmation someone needs security and they don't have security yet um, and that could be about a job maybe you're like I need to make sure like they keep making it sound like I have the job but they didn't give me my official letter yet or they didn't give me my start date so I feel like something's going on where you are kind of crying out emotionally because you don't have security so those are the messages that I have hopefully something resonates uh, feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe Send you love and grace.